What is up, YouTube? Good to get here back at it with another My League rebuild. Yes, today is a rebuild, and well, you guys heard it. You guys heard it, but before the video starts, drop a big fat like, drop a comment down below what else you'd like to see, drop down a player you'd like to see me uh, simulate their entire career. I already have some in mind because of the last video. Uh, you guys dropped some, and uh, yeah, or other rebuilds you want to see, any challenge rebuilds. I still have some regular teams, like I always say, I have one, two, three, four four five six seven maybe seven nba teams that i have to do a regular rebuild of this is technically a regular rebuild as well but i already did the portland trailblazers we're about to do them again because they got carmelo anthony as a backup power forward are they gonna start him at power forward for now i know they have injuries and that's why they needed him uh zach collins got injured 74 overall so technically carmelo still rated higher and for now he is gonna start i'm fine with that we'll have him start the first season but what I am going to do is not care about anybody else besides Lillard and Carmelo. Lillard and Carmelo rebuild. CJ McCollum, yes, he would be cool. But I think I could get some very high value. Big contract, 28 years old. Uh, I don't know if he improves that much more. Maybe he gets up to an 88, 89, I believe he does. But I really, 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 really could trade him for one. A, we have Nasir Little, do we not? We have Nasir Little. I sent him to the G League for one season. We have our small forward of the future. So let's go see who we sent to the G League real quick. Portland, four and eight to start the season. Uh, not a great start, but it's just the start of the season. They can turn it around for sure, but it's <laughs> I don't think it's just going to happen with signing Mello, a 35-year-old Mello. I can literally send three players to the G League, and I will do that because, one, they're signed for multiple years. I could use some as bench pieces, as starters, especially Nasir Little. Uh, and Fernie, I like how he plays in real life. In 2K, he kind of just scores. But in 2K, he really doesn't produce much. Gary Trent Jr., I have honestly no idea if he's playing well, if he's getting minutes for for uh, Trailblazers. Y'all got to let me know. Zach Collins, obviously the guy that got injured. I'd love to send him to the G League as well. It doesn't look too hot. It doesn't look too hot here for his potential. He's 21 years old. Skyler B. Sierra don't care. Mario don't care. Nurkic, I've seen him improve somehow some way to like a 90 overall even though he's 25 years old okay boys uh bradley beal for cj mccullum one bradley beal is younger and he's already a uh, higher overall Rui hachimura has been actually playing really well if y'all have been paying attention he has some really good games um but i don't think the wizards really get talked about too much they offered bradley beal Rui hachimura for cj and uh nurkic now clearly i'd rather have nurkic than hassan whiteside um, so I'm going to try to keep them and then I'm going to try to make this trade go through. I don't know if that, okay. They have a counter offer 2021st. So we're technically trying to win. We're trying to win right away. They'll give us Isaiah Thomas as a backup point guard for now. So I'll take that and I can probably flip them for a, for a better one, for a better point guard or a longer contracted player, or just worry about it later. But I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. Not only do we get another young guy, he can play power forward, small forward. I don't know if he improves that small forward. We'll check it out right now. And then uh, we'll go from there. Because if he does, I'll take it. Melo goes up to a 77. I might just do that. I might just do that. He doesn't go up. So I'm going to go Melo. And then if we need him at the power forward spot, we'll just switch him over to the power forward spot. But for right now, I'm pretty sure we got Hachimura, Carmelo. Yeah. Defensively, though, we are going to suck. So I might try to flip for like Rudy Gobert somehow. If we have the money to match Rudy. And then uh, we did give up a 2020 pick. But I expect to make the playoffs. I expect to be contenders because we're trying to win ASAP with Carmelo one he's 35 two he's gonna keep declining every season if <laughs> I gotta win I gotta win with the man all right Nurkic for Rudy Gobert we need a rebounding shot blocking defensive monster what is he two time uh two time right two time defensive player of the year back to back first team all defense for three years straight Rudy Gobert Kent Bazemore, is it going to put it over the top? That They're going to say no, but I'm going to add a bunch of second rounders and then maybe a young guy here or there. And I mean, technically, this one would be the one where you add first rounders. Just trying to add more higher value two star players to their one star players. Okay, so it's not going through yet. And then I'm going to add first. I'm going to have to add first. We still have Isaiah Thomas that I could throw in here, too. I wonder how much he's valued at. Okay, so he's valued two star and a half. I could work with that later. So do we give up my future to just try to win with Carmelo my future in in the sense that I mean these shouldn't be worth much if we're making the playoffs right 
They agreed with a first and a second rounder. I will take it, baby. We got ourselves a defensive center. And just like that, I think we're a better team. Damian Lillard, Bradley Beal is a better defender than CJ McCollum, in my opinion. Um, it should be in everybody's opinion. Carmelo starting for this first season. Uh, that's all I wanted to do, to be honest. Once I was thinking about doing this rebuild, I want him to start for one season. After that, he's definitely not starting. Uh, but we will try to keep him if he doesn't retire, which I don't think he should. Now, this... It's not a championship squad right now, but once Hachimura improves, possibly. Once Hachimura improves, I'm going to see what I can do with Isaiah Thomas as well. Rodney Hood, same thing. Rodney Hood's not going to improve. Isaiah Thomas is not going to improve. Uh, so we can find uh, pieces for the future right now because we got our young guys in the G League getting ready to come and be absolute beast backups or Nasir Little be our uh, starter at small forward. All right, so it was a similar trade to this i don't know if they want ronnie hood straight up for og i will add the exception and see if they okay they want anthony tolliver they want to give us malcolm miller i'm gonna absolutely take this one og is only 22 years old ronnie hood is 27 who's got higher potential right now og for sure so welcome to the team i coach might want to start og but i'm definitely gonna yeah i'm definitely gonna start uh carmelo at least for the first season Give him some minutes. Okay, not for Hachimura. It's year number one. We are the team that's just bringing in all the free agents just so I can hopefully still make like the eighth seed. I mean, we have Lillard. We have Beal. We have Gobert. Uh, Rui Hachimura still needs to improve uh, year after year. Carmelo Anthony, hopefully he only declines one, maybe two overall so he could still be a solid bench piece. I need to win in like this season or next. Uh, my plan is obviously year number two, uh, but I expect to be okay this season. Lillard, Beal, Carmelo, Hachimura, Gobert, and then we have Isaiah Thomas as our sixth man. OG our seventh, Fareed our eighth. So I signed him. I was about to sign. Uh, I was about to sign Jamal Crawford, but he didn't want to come. He didn't want to come for because uh, we gave the uh, mid-level exception to Fareed. I'm guessing 5.62, and then Jamal didn't want to come for the minimum. So. <laughs> It's whatever. I'm going to give my center uh, Mahimi minutes instead of Royce O'Neal and have too many small forwards come off my bench. If we're doing horrible, I'll make some more moves. If not, I just expect to make the playoffs, make a little bit of noise. We'll see how Carmelo does as a starter, and then uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully win a championship year number two. Season number one, and we're 52 and 30. I will take that considering we have two 70s uh, in our starting lineup, so... I'm cool. I'm cool with it. LeBron wins MVP. Zion wins Rookie of the Year. Six men goes to Dennis Schroeder. Kawhi Leonard, defensive player. Luke Kennard, most improved. And Frank Vogel, 66 and 16. Um, we should have Damian Lillard on here because I think he was scoring like 29 points a game. So Damian Lillard is there. And then we have an all defensive second team member in Rudy Gobert as well. All I needed him to do was do that. And Ru Hachimura, all rookie first. So yeah. We got we got our future set. We have our future set. I'm just hoping that Melo doesn't decline way too badly in this offseason. Um, I clicked playoff stats. Of course, there's going to be nothing there. But let's get first season, 29 points, 6 assists for our boy Damian Lillard. Trying to put the whole team on his back. 24 for Beal. 15.7 off the bench for Isaiah Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, he would be absolutely back if he did this. 44%, 40% from three. The man, I mean, his free throw is atrocious. I don't know what's going on there, but that is great. Rui Hachimura as a starter rookie, 14 points. Well, 13.6, five rebounds. Carmelo, 13 and 4.6 in his comeback. We don't need him to do that much, considering we have the number one option in Lillard, number two option in Beal, and then everybody else just kind of helps around that. Doesn't really matter how we do in this first season because I don't expect to win. If we win, it's kind of just 2K rewarding it to us. Um, I don't think we should win with two 70s on our team. Sure, get past the first round. I will take that. Uh, but we're up against a 66-win team now in the Lakers. So I don't expect to get past these, these Rondo, Danny Green, LeBron, Anthony Davis, Dwight, Kyle Kuzma, uh, JaVale McGee, Cousins, of course, because injuries are off. Every, I mean, just LeBron and Anthony Davis would give us trouble, especially to a rookie, Rui Hachimura. I wouldn't be surprised if they 4 one us here. We come back from a 3-1. We do not. 4-2 Clippers or the Celtics come back. They do not. Kawhi Leonard wins another championship. And we got to go win ours. One, before Carmelo retires. Two, before uh, he declines and isn't even useful anymore. All right. The Charlotte Hornets are willing to offer us Malik Monk. I'll take Malik Monk. Um, he's a little bit younger. 22 years old to a 23. Yeah, a little bit younger. We're pretty much just giving up a second rounder there. We have Nasir Little, who's going to end up getting the minutes. So 
I'm just working on my bench. I'm working on hopefully having a really deep team that will eventually take us to the promised land, a championship, and we need to do that quick. We don't have the money to sign Carmelo Anthony. He's asking for 13 million. We don't have 13 million. Our team is pretty much set top to bottom. So whatever team signs him, I'm hoping I'm hoping some team signs him and I get him for the cheap or we wait till the start of the season. His overall goes down and then he asks for less and then maybe we'll be able to sign him then. So I'm going to see what even positions we need right now. We have a backup point guard. We have a backup shooting guard. Small forward, we're going to get Carmelo, hopefully, so he'll come off the bench. Maybe Nasir will start. We'll look for another small forward here. And then power forward, we have Hachimura starting and Zach Collins maybe off the bench. Nasir, a little goes up a lot from the G League and then his natural progression. I don't know how much he went from the G League and I don't know how much he goes up just naturally. So he's plus 79 now from a what, 73? And Fernie goes up to a 79 as well. Rui Hachimura goes up three regularly. So he was a 75, 76? Yeah, he was a 76, goes up to a 79. Zach Collins, 78. Uh, Malik Monk, 78. Uh, I got him when he was a 77, so... Is that even true that he goes up three? I have no idea. We just signed uh, Plumlee. He goes down in everything, so that's cool. <laughs> and then Royce O'Neal as well brought him back. Going to go to training camps. Probably give untapped potential to Rui Hachimura. Um, and I don't know what else to do there. Maybe improve some of our guys' perimeter defense. Other than that, we got to go worry about getting Melo back. He's with the Lakers for $8 million, which is what we gave Mason Plumlee to. Uh, so, like, uh, I mean, we don't need Mason Plumlee. It sucks that I have to trade him away. I wish I had money to give away. Um, but everybody else is uh, a young piece that is going to continue to improve unless I gave him, like, all these guys and somehow matched up to that money. But whatever. We'll take the pick. We'll take Melo back. Y'all get a nice center. Uh, hopefully, I didn't make you too good. Uh, probably give him a solid backup, but now we got Melo back. Melo is the weakest link off my bench. I'm going to give a little bit less to some of our bench pieces, though, and then uh, maybe give a little bit. Just we'll give 15 to Melo. We'll give 15 to Melo, but then we're going to ramp up our starters for sure. Give a little bit more to Nasir Little and a couple more to bradley beal because he is the one two punch that we need with lillard uh hopefully we're not a championship team i still don't think we're a championship team until these guys improve but you never know we might shock the world lillard's a 94 overall now gonna see if i can absolutely finesse the atlanta hawks their team is ridiculous ladies and gentlemen Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, they have Anthony Davis. They have Trey Young. They have DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, DeAndre Hunter, obviously, so is still going to continue to improve. They drafted LaMelo Ball. What? They have a backup Aaron Baines. Like, Cam Reddish still. Oh, my gosh. Malik Beasley. Oh, their team's nice. And then they still have Kevin Herter and John Collins. So, their team is stupid. I'm going to see if I can finesse them with this. And then I'm going to offer all the first I have. Absolutely every single first that I have. Uh, in hopes that they say yes one we'll have yes we'll have john collins as a starter kevin herder as a backup uh honestly i malik monk would have scored a lot off my bench but not efficiently and just like that i think i elevated the squad we had 279 starting now we have an 85 instead of rui hachimura i still love rui um but john collins like he's an 85 overall i'll take it we have to win we have to win. This team is nice. What is our system proficiency? Balance is four stars. Anything better than that? I don't think so. So we're going to keep it on balance. Keep it on balance. Win a championship, please. Season two and the move for John Collins, I think, put us over the top. We're 61 and 21. I think that should be good for number one in the West. Giannis wins MVP. RJ Hampton, rookie of the year. Six man, Rudy Gay. Absolutely balling. Jeez. Kawhi Leonard, defensive player of the year. Markel Fultz, most improved. Terry Stotts, Portland Trail Blazers. Number one, number one, this is our best chance. Only player to make an all anything team is Rudy Gobert for all defensive second. We don't even get, uh, what, what? We should have some type, uh, is anybody a rookie for us? Nasir Little is a rookie for us, so he makes uh, that. Two Oklahoma City Thunder guys there because they have five million first rounders. I forgot about that. Um, we are number one. This guy didn't make an all NBA team scoring 28 points a game 28.6 assists not only that he had a 50 40 90 not too many people have done that in the 
entirety of the NBA's existence. But let's check these stats. You saw Lillard's Beal is scoring 22 a game, four assists, three rebounds. John Collins comes in and scores 14 and 10. I'll take that. 11 for Inferni off the bench. Like I said, he's pretty much just a score off the bench. Uh, Kevin Herter, 10, two, and four assists. That's mad impressive. Rui Hachimura, 10 and three off my bench. Nasir Little, nine and six off my bench. Wait, Nasir's starting, right? Nasir getting nine. Carmelo almost scoring more than Nasir Little, but I'm sure Nasir is playing a little bit better defense than Carmelo would. L uh, considering the graphs, yes, Nasir Little is playing a little bit better defense. Best record in the NBA. We got to make it to the finals. We got to make it to the finals. Give us a chance in the finals. I mean, I shouldn't be too scared. We have a baller team. Lillard, Beal, uh, Nasir Little's an 80 overall pretty much. Uh, and then we got John Collins and Rudy Gobert. I ain't scared. I'm not scared. Zach Levine on the Warriors, meaning they traded Draymond Green, which is their defense, uh, for more offense. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one going to say they still have D'Angelo Russell. Like, why are you getting all these guards? Why are you just, like, hoarding guards from the league instead of going out getting yourself a big? We're up against Houston, who, of course, have Westbrook Harden, but I don't... Okay. Gallinari, weak spot. House, weak spot. Capella's nice. PJ, Norman Powell, not, not the best bench. Not the best bench. I think we should beat them easily as well. Why not go 4-1 against everybody? Why not go 4-1 against every... Okay, stop. Stop. <laughs> Don't come back. Do not come back. We're up against the 76ers. Honestly, I would hope for an Atlanta, a younger Atlanta team that we could probably uh, destroy and, and take advantage of their youth. But Ben Simmons is scary, man. I don't want to go up against this man, but I don't know if we have what it takes to go up against these 76ers. I don't know what they finish. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Simulate with Simcast. I want to show you guys the, um, what is it? The, the, the ceremony. So I'm going to simulate. Hopefully we win one of these games and we don't lose. <laughs> um, is what I'm hoping, but we're up 10 to start the fourth quarter. So hopefully this is it. We keep the lead. I'm going to hop in here and we're going to see the ceremony. Hopefully see Carmelo hold up that ring. I'm uh, not the ring. Hold up the championship. Something. Or even in the locker room, the locker room pictures. I'm hoping they show them. They got to show my boy Melo winning his first ring and still being in the rotation for it, too. And we are champions of the NBA. The bench is getting up to celebrate. I'm ready, man. Where's Melo? Where's Melo at, man? Where is Melo? We should have put him in here in the few, in the last seconds, but it's whatever. Where's my boy Melo? It's time to celebrate. Portland Trailblazers champions of the nba hug it out hug it out okay but i want to see Melo. show me Melo, please where is he at that's lillard that's bradley beal i mean lillard would be super emotional too bro yeah terry stotts ben simmons dapping up josh richardson he's out here yeah what up where's my boy Melo? <laughs> he's they're not showing him at all rui hachimura go bear okay this is a joke y'all just gonna Hello, there's more than six players to a team. Hello, 2K. They're not gonna show Melo. They're not gonna show Melo. Congratulations, Portland Trailblazers win it. Rudy Gobert is the finals MVP. 14 points, 11 rebounds, three blocks. So I'm guessing he was just defensively amazing that they gave it to him. Um, playoff stats, definitely gotta check out. Just check Carmelo's. This is obviously the reason we did this rebuild because they got mellow. I don't know what he's what his role is with the Portland Trailblazers, but I'm excited he's got a job. The rebuild is over. We won a championship with Mellow. That's all I wanted to do and rebuild these Portland Trail. I guess rebuild with Mellow on the Portland Trailblazers is all I wanted to do. It wasn't a challenge to have him in the starting lineup. That's not what I wanted this video for. Just win a ring for Mellow, plain and simple. Started him in the first season, second season. Uh I got an actual monster squad and we won with him. Drop a like, drop a comment down below what other rebuilds you'd like to see, what other career simulations you'd like to see, or any other type of video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.